Hi guys, so a long time ago, my friend Clint had this crazy warlock that had a crackle paint job to it. And uh, he had to sell it, and it always sucks when you lose a guitar you like. So I got this bronze series one here that I bought pretty cheap on the local classifieds. And uh, we're going to see if we can get a crackle finish on it. Now I've never done this type of crackle finish before, which is using this stuff. Found it on Amazon like a crackle effect paint and <clears throat> trying it over just regular um, gloss Rust-Oleum black now there's one more warlock on my channel that you guys have seen before that uh, is still not done yet that's because that's a huge project and it's a personal project and all my business projects have taken time away from that and haven't been able to finish it so that's coming soon but for now today let's see if we can uh, crackle us a warlock this is a guitar all put together with the radial strings on it. Just pretty standard Warlock Bronze series, much like that other one I'm working on. This one will be done much, much faster. So I have done some tests and uh, smoother the surface, the larger the cracks. This one was done over some semi-gloss, so the cracks are very fine, as you can see. This is over gloss, which I'm going to do. Now this was the first one, which was gloss over wood, and it didn't really crack at all. But I think that wood had too much grip. So we're going to go with a gloss like that and see what we get. I'm being real careful not to sand through my edges. This is 600 grit. It's not too abrasive. Um, we just want to have the paint be able to grab onto it. So that's what we're trying to do here. This Warlock was in really good shape. There's like no body work to be done. There's a little nick here. I'll show you in a little bit. That's the only thing that I'm worried about. But uh, this is also kind of an experiment. There might actually be another Warlock on the way. Preview alert. Alright, even though you can still see the reflection in it, uh, once you get a decent mat, a decent kind of even mat, you can uh, clean it up and get ready for paint. Now this being a Chinese made guitar, you can see where the glue joint was, so hopefully I paid extra attention to try to smooth that down a little bit. Because over time, you know, the wood will still expand and contract and glue joints might show up through the clear, which was the case here. But once uh, I get this sanded a little bit more, uh, hopefully the paint we won't be able to see that. You can't really feel it, but we'll see. Uh, here's a little point I was worried about. I think that won't be much of a problem though. Uh, but we'll see. You know, again, it's going to have a couple coats of black, then a coat of that white top coat, which is an invert of Clint's old guitar. His was his was uh, a white bottom coat with a black top coat, so it's going to be kind of an inverted one. But uh, yeah, let's get on to painting this thing after a, a little more sanding and cleanup. This is the moment of truth. Um, this could make or break this paint job. So, wear a mask. Seriously, wear a mask with this stuff. I smelled it without my mask on. It's heavy. It's definitely got some ketones in it. Yeah. Mask all the way. Already cracking.
I hope they open up a little more, but we'll see what happens. It's pretty cool so far. So the white didn't crack enough, so I have another coat of black on here. I'm going to, I, I learned I think that you really have to blast it with the crackle stuff. So I'm just going to layer it on here real thick and hope it does the job. So let's find out. This stuff gives off a lot of fumes, so I still have the mask on, but look, it's still, it's already crackling again, but much better this time. Let's hope we get more coverage. I think I'm going to set the camera here and see if I can high speed some crackles appearing, if, I, if it'll work, let's see. Well, been drying for a couple hours. It did some cool things, but certainly not to the degree that I wanted it to. The cracks go into these just tessellating micro cracks, which I think is super cool, but I don't think it's enough of a pronounced effect to uh, call it anything finished. I'm thinking about spraying a little bit of black on a couple of these areas. <clears throat> and then hitting it hard with the stuff again but then I know it's gonna fog out the other lines so I'm not real sure what to do I don't want to keep doing it over and over and just add a thousand layers of paint on the top of this guitar but you know what this is the experiment one I'm gonna do a little more black down the middle and give it one more shot see what happens it's kind of a neat uh, I found it <clears throat> in an LA culvert look to it now but uh, I'm gonna give it about 20 minutes to dry do one more coat of the crackle effect and see what happens all right this is my last chance I've dumped way too much paint on this thing if this doesn't work more likely when this doesn't work we're just gonna have to wait a few days and sand the paint off and then we can try again I guess next weekend All right, so I bought all this to experiment with. Anyway, I said, screw it. I'm gonna paint the thing purple and see what happens. This is just for a test. I'm gonna use the rest of the bottle of the crackle I have. Sorry about the crooked noises. I'll play some music or something. I'm gonna blast it with this uh, crackle paint. It's all I got left. Maybe we'll get something cool, maybe we won't. Let's see. That is a super heavy coat. Hopefully that does the trick. I don't know. You can see where the cracks from the previous attempts are still in the finish. Like I said, this is an experiment. I'm trying to figure out what works. Next time I should be able to do it perfectly. So maybe heavier is not better. I'm getting no cracks. A lot of bugs though. It's hard living in Florida. Starting to see some uh, light cracking around the edges. Well guys, we got slightly better results. Uh, still got these big open areas. I guess I didn't slam it hard enough. So the key to using this stuff really is to just dump it on there. Um, that's why it didn't come out on the sides and stuff as well. So what I think I'll do is like do a, a quick sort of black burst around the edges, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just leave it like that. It's kind of cool. It's just not cool enough, damn it. <laughs> Maybe if I had used a heat gun on these spots, it would have cracked it. Who knows? Oh well. You live and you learn. Sometimes you fail. So 45 minutes later. 
Look at this. The only thing I don't like is there's a huge pinkish tinge due to all that purple behind it. You can't see it on the camera very well, but I can see it in real life. Yeah. And there's also pink rollover on the edges. So I think I'm going to do, because I'm a glutton for punishment, I think I'm going to do a little burst on it. So uh, let's do that. See what it looks like. Okay. There we go. Don't want to take it too far. Guys, I'm sorry about the uh, cars out here. So this is the weird path that our creation has taken us down. Our experimenting. I think I'm going to clear this, call it a guitar, call it an experiment. And then I have another Warlock coming. And I think we're going to try to do it again but with uh, a little bit better knowledge from the beginning because all of our experimenting led us to get a pretty nice and even looking crack I'm not uh, not too upset at that if it hadn't been all pink looking I wouldn't have done this burst because it detracts from that pink a little bit so it'll look a little better but uh, I don't know what do you guys want to call this thing the Boneyard Warlock <laughs> leave me in the comments what you want to call this thing it's pretty crazy all right, thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, next time you see this thing, we'll probably clear coat it and go ahead and put it together. I'll talk to you later. Bye.